Hi guys, it's Lara. Thanks for watching and welcome back to my channel. Today it's gonna be an update on my breast explant journey. It's been two and a half months since my surgery and I thought that would be a good time to sit down and chat a little bit so that I could give you an update, tell you how I'm doing and how the recovery is going. So if that's something you're interested in, then please keep watching. Before we start, I have a playlist for all of my breast explant journey videos, which I will link here in the right corner and also down below in case you missed a few videos or if you're new here. And now let's get into this. So shortly after my surgery, I have already told you that I felt amazing. I felt like my energy level got higher and it felt to me as though I got my natural body back and it got kind of younger. And that is still true. I feel so amazing. I really feel full of energy. I have been already before my breast explant surgery a quite active person, but my energy level is definitely higher. It's even easier for me to get up in the morning. I feel really great. So it was for sure the right decision for me. In my last video, we went through a few symptoms that I have written down and some of them have already cleared. And today I would like to add that my night sweats are gone. I have also noticed that even though my legs still get swollen when it gets hot, it is a little bit better. And when I'm wearing some tight clothing, the indents from the clothing are not as deep and they don't last as long as they used to. So that definitely improved. My skin is also a bit less dry. I noticed that my tongue is clearer because my tongue used to be super white and now it has occasionally some white on it, but it is for most of the time pink. That's something I haven't seen in years. And what else? Um, the itching ears, that stopped. That's amazing. I have a lot of earwax, but before the surgery, they would itch like crazy. It would sometimes even wake me at night and that's gone. I still get a lot of earwax, but my ears don't itch anymore. So far, I didn't have any inflammations. And uh, I used to have an issue with numb arms. So when I would sleep, my arms would get super numb. And it would also happen when I would sit on the sofa and read a book and that's gone so far. I strongly suspect that it has to do with the back uh, issues that I used to have because of the implants. So I don't think it's directly linked to the implants, but it's kind of linked to some symptoms that I used to have because I had this super huge rubber balls in the front. Another thing I have noticed um, when I'm sewing, uh, by the way, I have a DIY channel in case you didn't know. So I will link the channel also here in the right corner and down below. And I love sewing. I love making clothes. And uh, before my surgery, when I would be sewing for several hours, I would be in such horrible pain. I would get a horrible neck pain and back pain. And from that, uh, I would also get headache and it was kind of a vicious circle because it would last for a few days. And recently I've been sewing a lot because I had to alter a few of my clothes since <laughs> it's a little bit flatter here in the front. And I also made myself new bikini and some other stuff. And there were days where, where I just forgot the time and I've been sewing the whole afternoon and I had no issues whatsoever with my back. I had no issues with my neck. So that's definitely a wonderful development in my life. I noticed a few differences about my muscles. So first of all, when I'm stretching, they feel a little bit less tight. I mean, it doesn't mean that I had the surgery and then I was suddenly able to do splits. Unfortunately, that's not the case and it's not something I would expect. Uh, but when I'm stretching, I can tell they are a little bit more relaxed and the tightness is different. I have also noticed that when I'm exercising, my muscles don't start burning for no reason like it was before. They start burning after I work them really hard the way it normally is. And that's also a great change. And last but not least, I have noticed an improvement in my digestion. I had a good digestion before already, but there were a couple of things that would irritate my stomach. And I just did not understand that one of them chickpeas. I am eating so many legumes, but for whatever reason, chickpeas were an issue. So I would not eat them. And if I ate them, they would bloat me up so incredibly much and I would get cramps from hell. And now like two months after the surgery, I thought I'm going to give it a try. So I ate quite a nice portion of chickpeas. And then at some point I had hummus, no issue whatsoever. So apparently my digestion is also a little bit more relaxed. 
Now, my period was already super regular before the breast explant surgery. My cycle was 26 days usually. The last two periods I had came after 24 days. I wonder if it had to do something with the stress that the surgery put on my body. And also the last period I had came with a lot of acne. I usually tend to have a little bit of hormonal acne when I have my days. I will always have a few pimples here on my neck, sometimes something on my uh, forehead, maybe like one or two, and they usually go away pretty fast. And occasionally I get some pimples on my back. I never had that, but once I stopped taking my birth control, that's something I started dealing with, but it's nothing severe. I, I can totally live with that. It's nothing that would bother me. But when I had my last period, I had so many pimples on my back and they would not heal for like three weeks. And I had so many pimples here on the side. It was really annoying. And right now I'm on my period. The period came after 27 days. So again, the cycle is more normal than it was like the last two times. And I think I had like two pimples. So it normalized. So I wonder if it had to do even anything with the surgery maybe something happening with my hormonal level after getting rid of the silicone. Maybe it was not related at all, but I thought I should mention that. Now a little bit more about the recovery process. So at this point I am able to exercise just like I did before the surgery. I also feel like some things got a little bit easier. I started doing headstands and I started practicing handstand and I started doing backbends and I feel like I have almost the range of motion that I had before and it gets easier each time I exercise. Usually when I do backbends and when I'm stretching this area and my arms, my breasts feel sore afterwards but it's not any severe pain. It just feels like sore muscles and that's also, that is also something that I'm very happy about. However, keep in mind that my implants were in front of the muscles, so that can be very different for a person who had their implants behind their muscles. And it is also very important to keep in mind that we all recover differently. So if you're gonna have your surgery, please do not measure your recovery progress on the progress of someone else. It can be completely different. And it is also so important to keep in mind that an explant surgery is no overall cure or magic wand. It could be that some of your symptoms will still be there even after the surgery because they were simply not linked to the implants at all. The best thing to do is always to eat a balanced diet with enough protein and vitamins, maybe have your blood work checked occasionally and uh, making sure that you have all the necessary vitamins and minerals. And in general, it's always important to take good care of ourselves because our bodies are such a precious gift. The last thing I would like to talk about today are my scars. I think in general they look pretty good, especially for scars that are so fresh. I'm gonna blend in a current photo. Right now they look pretty dark and that is partially because it's super hot. I noticed quite shortly after the surgery that whenever we had normal temperature, they would look pretty pale. But whenever I would be in a hot shower or whenever it would get hot, they would turn a little bit darker. So I guess that's something I will have to deal with for who knows how long. I am using an ointment for the scars. It's called Vulsana. I will look for it on the internet and if I find it, I will link it down below. If not, I'm just gonna write down the name. It's vegan. And the lady in the pharmacy told me that I should not expect that the scars are gonna look perfect just by using the ointment. She told me that it's really, really important to massage the scars and take care of them so that they wouldn't bulge out. So what I'm doing is every day in the morning when I get up, I apply the ointment and then I massage my scars in circular motions like this uh, for a few minutes. And I do the same after I showered in the evening. I noticed that some days the scars are super flat, some days they start to bulge out. When I notice that, I start massaging them again and they relax a little bit again. But other than that, there is nothing else I think I should mention. If you have any questions, feel free to write them down below in the comments and I will try to answer them to the best of my ability and I will try to get back to you as soon as possible. 
I will definitely film another update in a couple of months just to keep you guys posted. And that is it for today. So thank you all so much for watching. I love you guys so much and see you soon. Bye.